Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a pumpkin spice latte look from Starbucks. Um, I seen this one girl, Hannah Hope Beauty, I believe is her username on TikTok. I was scrolling through a bunch of TikToks. I was just scrolling through and I seen one girl, I think her name is Barb Beauty. And she did like um, a sunflower with like a skeleton, not skeleton, scarecrow. So she did like a giant sunflower and then she did like the mouth of a scarecrow. So I was going to do that, but I seen this one that Hannah Hope posted. And it was orange, she had orange eyeshadow on, she had an orange beanie on. And she drew a little pumpkin spice latte on her cheek. And then she drew like a little straw with like foam. And I thought that was super cute. So I want to try and recreate that. Um, I'll leave her link in the description below. So you can go check out her stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into the video. Kind of came prepared. Got my like little sweater on. It's got little bows on the sleeves. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So I'm going to start by priming with my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. And um, I'm going to primarily be using my <clears throat> Morphe 35O and my James Charles palette because both of them have orange shades. I think the 35O might have a little more, but there's a vibrant one in the James Charles palette that I might want to use. So we'll just play around, see how that goes. So next I'm going to use my foundation, which is the Tarte Found Sealer. I'm in the shade 22B, light beige. Just gonna shake it. I'm just going to put that onto my foundation brush. When I put my foundation brush in my bag for school, sometimes it gets a little stiff, so I just like rub it out back of my hand. I just put like two pumps because I think that'll be enough. Let me just close that. So I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to put a little more on than I normally would because I have some pimples I want to cover up because I'm just getting over being sick and I had a lot of breakouts when I was sick. So we're going to try to Cover those babies up. I'm just gonna do my ears, blend out my neck. So I think that's pretty blended. So I'm going to go in with my ColourPop concealer. This is the No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 18. And this is a new one that I just opened. So it's going to have a little bit of a better coverage because it's new, like fresh out of the packaging. So I just put that on the of my face, under my eyes, down my nose, a little bit on my forehead, my cupid's butt, and my chin. So I'm still just blending out that concealer with some foundation brush. Sorry, I don't know my dog's barking. He's probably barking on my mom. 
Because when she gets home from work, he always breaks at her. So now that I think it's pretty blended, um, I'm going to powder and I'm just going to use a quick brush and I'm going to use my Fit Me Set and Smooth powder in the shade 225 so I'm just going to put that where I put my powder I mean concealer and then with what's left on the brush I'm just going to to do this face. No, I see. Come here. Come here. No. So now that we've powdered, going to bronze, and I'm just going to use like a giant brush looks like that i don't know how to describe it it's like a flat brush i guess i don't know and i'm going to take my morphe debutante bronzer and just you know dip in take off some of that excess and i'm going to do the 3e so it looks like a day on the one side and then an E on the other. And then just kind of add more to the forehead. Like that. Hi, hey, Papa. You want to say hi? Okay. Oh, no. He's just walking around the back. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, eat anything. So next is blush. So Bubba's, what'd you take? Bubby! Hey! No, oh. Okay, he took Elsa. Which, mm, I don't really mind. So I'm going to take this Tarte blush in the shade Party with like six A's. It's just like a mauve blush. And I'm going to smile and just apply that to the apples on my cheeks. So I'm going to like focus it on the apples on my cheeks and then blend out. And then I like to put the excess on my nose and on my forehead where I put that bronzer just to give it more of like a sun-kissed look. And I'm just going to go in and kind of lighten that up. Just blend it a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit more. And next up for highlight. I'm going to use the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. It's in the shade Rosy Glow. Looks like that. And I'm just gonna take my highlight brush, and it's like a pink and a like a champagne. -y. It's like a pink and a white. And when you mix the two, it creates like this really pretty champagne shade. And it's like a light highlight. You can definitely. Like, brighten it up. Or, like, make it subtle, which I like. Because sometimes I don't want, like, an extra blinding highlight. And this one's more champagne. So it's not too pink. And it's not too, like, gold. So I'm just putting some on my nose. 
my cupid's bow, my chin, and just a little bit on the forehead and on the temples as well. And should be a little just above and below the eyebrow. Just for a little bit of highlight. So next is the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> gather up all of my eyeshadow brushes because I have quite a few. So now I'm going to take my MAC Pink Pot in the shade Pink Lily and I'm going to prime my eyes. Just so we have a base for the shadows to stick to and so we get the maximum payoff and then I just like to rub it in because I don't like to set my base because I like a sticky base personally. I just feel like it grips the eyeshadows a bit better. So I'm going to dip into the 35O palette and I'm going to just take a blending brush and I'm going to dip into this like <clears throat> there's no shade names on these this like tan shade Hey, Puffus. And I'm going to put that in my case just as a transition shade. What are you doing? Darcy, come here. Bubba's. What are you doing? You just think I'm going to happy? You can watch that if you want. He's a little swarmy right now. And. Nice, you want to leave with us? We already went out. Didn't ask if he wanted to go out. I wouldn't ask if he wanted to go out of my room. So. I'm just going to put that color in the crease. Sorry for the impromptu puppy visit. So still just putting that shade on both my eyelids. And next I'm going to take a smaller brush. And actually I don't know which one I just used. Well, I'm going to go back and forth between these two. So I'm going to first dip into the light orange shade, which kind of looks like a creamsicle color. It's like a very light orange, like a peach almost. And I just got orange eyeshadow on my hand. So I'm just going to dip in there. And I'm just going to kind of scratch that onto my lid just very lightly, not really applying much pressure. Actually, I'm going to go in with that smaller brush just because that other one was a little large. So again, just going into the orange color. 
light orange. And I'm just going to scratch that color on a crease, just building up pigment as I go like that. Doing the same thing to the other eye. So just putting that color on the lid, barely putting the color on, kind of using a scratchy method, kind of tapping. Just a little more, and then I think we can move on. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm going to take a bit of a smaller brush. Oh, it keeps going back and forth. So I'm going to dip into pimple. So now I'm going to dip to the James Charles palette and I'm going to dip into this white orange shade, this like neon orange shade up here. I thought the one next to it was orange, but it's more pink. So I'm just going to stick to that orange shade. I don't really know what the shade name is of this one. I think it's like, is it 815, 518? I don't really know. So I'm just going to put that on top. The orange, other orange shadow, just to kind of, you know, brighten it up because this one is more, you know, vibrant. So I'm just doing the same thing the other side. Probably gonna go into <clears throat> a bit more of that color. I Okay, that leaves back. So now I'm just going to do the exact same thing, put a little bit more of that orange color in my lid, just to add a little bit of dimension, you know, add a little bit of vibrancy. So now that um, we're really out here looking like a pumpkin and such, I'm going to take a smaller brush, maybe like that's a good size, to do a little bit of detail decor, actually. Um, scratch that. I'm going to take this small brush. And I'm going to get into the 35O and take mix the two dark orange shades. So this one and this this one. But like predominantly the bottom one. Cause that one's a bit more darker. A bit more dark. A bit darker. So I'm just mixing those two colors. <clears throat> I just had the darker orange and I've been running that out and you can see my dog on my bed. Great. Um, so I'm just blending out that orange, just, you know, darkening it up, adding a little bit on the outer lid. And now I'm going to take concealer. Put that on the back of my hand and take the same brush we used for the MAC primer and just cut the lid. 
put that into it. And I'm just going to put an orange <coughs> shimmer on top. So I, there's this a deep bronze, but I feel like I want it to be a bit more orange-ish. So I'm gonna see if there's anything in James Charles palette. Um, it's not necessarily orange, but it's like a. Hmm. Actually, maybe the shade is a little bit orange. But then there's this big kahuna orange in the middle. I completely forgot about it. I've been staring at it this entire time. So I think I'm going to mix that one with the neon one. And I guess pat that on my lid. You know, that look. So I guess adding that primer, I mean that concealer, don't know if that worked out, I wish I had like, I said, excuse my dog in the background, maybe I'll put like a little bit of like a bronze shadow on top, I don't know, so I'm just packing those two colors, on my lid. And then, hmm. maybe I'll take a bit of this like bronze color up here. This one. Take like a teeny bit of that. Put that on top. I'm sorry, I don't mean to flip it off. I just like to use that finger when I blend out. <coughs> when I pat. I should have on my lid. Nice. What are you doing? Do you want to go outside? Up my room? I really don't know what he's doing. So. I'm just putting that on my lid. Okay, I like that. So now is the part. Um, actually, I'll put my mascara on first. This is just the Benefit. They're real. Is it? No, roller lash mascara. I'm just putting on like a baby coat of mascara. So now I'm going to take. So I'm taking my next white eyeliner and I think I'm gonna do it on the right side. So I'm just going to go a bit under my highlight and draw the cup. Like that. And I'll fill it in with a bit of liner. And Wait for that to dry, and then pack a white eyeshadow on top. So dipping into the James Charles palette, I'm going to take the white. And just pack it on top.
I wish I had a, what's it called? It's like a, a paint thing. I, think I don't know who made it. Some brand made like a, I think it was Makeup Forever. And it's like a powder with like colors in it. But it's like $99, I think. So I'm just putting that white on top, or like the cup. So I'm just going to take this Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX and go over that, just kind of fill it in. Okay, so she coming out good. And then I'm going to take I was going to mix some liquid pencil, like liquid eyeliner, but I forgot how to make orange. Isn't it yellow? I don't have a yellow one. I have a red one. And I don't have a white. So maybe if I take like, a red liquid lipstick and like I don't know, I have white in it. No, that wasn't right. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna take orange and I'm going to take the my nail brush like that or even a small one like this eyeshadow brush not eyeshadow eyebrow brush and I'm gonna dip into that orange and see if I can write the words PSO I have to do it backwards, right? So, so I have to film this on Snapchat. So I took the liberty of writing PSL. I don't know if you could see that on my face. Looks like that. If anything, I'll try to outline it. And now I'm going to take my jumbo eye crayon and draw a little whipped cream coming out of it. Like that. And I'll take a little bit of green and I will draw A stem or a straw, not a straw, a stem, a straw. Coming out. So I'm taking this black eyeliner from Paris Hilton, and I'm just gonna write the PSL. Like that. And yeah, so that's what it looks like. Um, I am going to finish off this look by putting on a liquid lip. So this is Jeffree Star's Can't Relate. And it's just a pink nude. And then we are going to finish it off with some Urban Decay Setting Spray. 
This is just the All My Day Setting Spray and And that is this pumpkin spice makeup tutorial all complete. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill. Always remember, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, be salient.